I need. Sup? So, I'm thirsty, so I'm gonna drink something that might quench, quench, splench my thirst. Splench your thirst. Old English HG 800 high gravity malt liquor. 8%. I didn't even notice that number. There was another one just like this, but uh, I didn't read the numbers and I couldn't tell the difference. Same price. The, the label is different. Slightly. Yeah. Could you, did you tell the difference? I think the other one, I think, was probably uh, less alcoholic. Oh, maybe. Um, one was light, one's light, one's not. That it was, was like only light. 240 and uh, the Miller High Life was $2, but I've already tried it, and it was good. It's actually, I think, the best one I've had so far of the three, four beers I've had. Open. <sighs> And this stuff is bubbly more, so that might be good. I don't know. It might be gooder. Today's Friday, isn't it? Yep. Not bad. Could be me, but it tastes better than them. Black. What was it? Black port porter. Oh, that one jar you showed me? Yeah. I don't know who it was. Oh, it hits the spot. Do you want some? So, if you are on the cheap like me and you want something, and you've already had Miller High Life, because that's like the Miller Bush Bud. That's like the Coors. I haven't had the Coors yet. That'll probably be next. Um, those are like the the easiest starter beers there is. This one, it's it's out of the ordinary, but it's all right. I don't see anything wrong with it. Government warning: According to the Surgeon General, this women should drink alcoholic beverages and die. You actually got really lucky today. You chose to ask me to come over. I've been busy all week babysitting Chris. Had a baby. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's a bunch of, what do you call it, cans. What's that size? Tall, something. Uh, 24s? 24, yeah. But I wanted something that had a top that I could screw on if I didn't want to drink all of it. Mm. So, now I'm just talking and breaking, breaking. Let me talk about a few things that just drive me up the wall. <laughs> First thing that just drives me to no end, like a needle between the eyes, is women that drive SUVs. Like, what? what's their point? I mean, I'm sorry. If you're a woman and you drive an SUV, I'm sure you just love looking cool taking your kids to soccer practice in the gas guzzler, but... If you're if you have a trailer and you, you haul horses or whatever or a boat, that's cool, you know, whatever. But if you don't use your SUV to to pull stuff, then what are you doing? Check or not? Bill's mom drives an SUV. I know. So does Ben's grandparents, and it's a freaking. Their their SUV's cool. Their SUV's cool. But do they even use it to haul anything? Yeah. No. Chihuahua well, on two Pomeranians. No, that's not hauling. <laughs> hauling is when you hook something up to a ball and go... Okay, um, he might. He might use it, but that's about it. What's something else that pisses me off? Um... Pond doesn't ride your ass? <laughs> it, uh, no, the, the sounds, yeah. Ricers with the Rice fart burners. can noise and spray bombs. People that buy a Honda... And they, or they, they sell it, put it on Craig's for 2000 bucks, and it it's like a 94, and then they spray bomb it. I don't know about you, but I'd rather have a car that that has paint peeling in like 40 different places, clear coat exposed, or, you know, coming off, than having a car spray bombed. 
I don't see what I don't see the appeal. Something else. Oh, it's a weak one. Um. Oh, bathrooms. Where did they get off? No. <laughs> um. Ever walk into a bathroom and they have a urinal and a toilet, but it's like a one-person bathroom? What's the point in that? Are you like gonna walk in with your buddy out? Yeah, I was like, you know, I made ten bucks today selling crack to a hobo. Like, if okay, gotta take a pee. Turn around. You gotta take a dump. You don't need to stand up. I, I don't understand what's the point of having a urinal and a toilet right next to each other with no divider and it's not meant for more than one person. I mean, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Or another thing that's kind of odd, you walk into a bathroom, public bathroom, whatever, maybe you're not public. And it's a huge freaking room. Like the size of a, I don't know, drive through or, I don't know, freaking big. And there's a, there's one toilet in the, in, in the corner of the room, and like, it'll be huge. And there's no like divider, there's like no, you know, stall, it's just a toilet in the middle of the room, a sink, and that's it. A huge room that could use at least two or three stalls, but it's just one toilet. I see them all the time. It, it's just like, what are they thinking? Do they want to punish people that, like, no, 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 if you gotta poop, you gotta sit and wait. No, save that for later, sorry. I don't understand. Put another one in, put in a divider, it can't cost that much. Huh. That's the point, though. There's some money greedy. Even it? a curtain. Um, gas prices are getting outrageous, so I just put 15 bucks, I almost got four gallons. Um, yeah, 15 Walmart. bucks in this like, Subaru, ooh, got a 16 gallon tank and it, it, almost, it, it went up to about a quarter. Yeah. Um, Walmart, Walmart, does you have to? Hmm? Walmart? What Walmart? No, nothing at Walmart really pisses me off. Not, not really right now. Um, hmm. Wait, what about that you can't park in your special area and walk in the back area? Oh, nah, that's not a big deal. Hmm. They're getting rid of self-checkout. That's kind of dumb. They got rid of self-checkout? They're getting rid of it. They're stupid. They're, that's how much of the stuff gets stolen. Cool. Still from Walmart. I don't, I don't endorse that statement. Um, what's what else kind of things kind of drive me up the wall? Hmm. I think. Uh, crap. Oh, when you go to a, uh, this has happened to me a couple of times. I've gone to a pawn shop, and uh, I'll open up a little glass case, and I'll look at a stereo. There's no lock on it. There's no sign that says "Do not open." And so we open the case, me and my friend. And then the guy says, "Is this something you want to look at?" And I go, "No, I'm just looking at this. There's no lock on it." And uh, I open up, look at the stereo, we look at the two car stereos, and he goes, hey, uh, you're not supposed to go in there. I'm like, sorry, I didn't know. But there's no sign that says do not open, there's no lock on it. On what? Uh, pawn shop, money man. Yeah. I don't know, it's not a big deal, it's kind of cool about it, but it's like, if you don't want us to open this, you should have a sign that say, a oh, post that says, do not open employees only, or put a lock on it. Kind of simple. Not a big deal. This must be a dick and yell at you. Oh, well, he didn't yell at me. He was cool about it, but I don't know. It's just kind of dumb. Um, I'm not drinking this more. It's like, it tastes a bit more bitter. Um, hmm. PS2s. Where do they get off? No. They're a great system, but how come, like, I, get, I have a slim and it works perfectly fine until I put it, I get more games and then it has problems loading. My brother's old PS Fat, PS3, PS2 Fat, um, it plays games just fine, but you put in a purple disc and it won't, it won't read. Except for one. I can't remember what game it was, but it won't read a purple game. Really? Yeah. I can't remember what one it was though. 
Um, how long have I been ranting? Ten minutes? I want to think of some other stupid things I can talk about. Your Wii? My Wii? Where does it get off? I mean, what the... What the heck? The Wii sucks. If you have a Wii, you better have an Xbox... Or sex box, you know, the, the green fat brick. And a PS2. Because... Or, and a GameCube. Because your PS... Your, your Wii will fail. Ours did. It was only three years old. And uh, we got a new laser for it, and it won't, it won't work. I don't know what we did wrong. But the Wii doesn't have nearly a quarter of the good games that GameCube had. Well, yeah, because some of the games are like, Oh, it's awesome! You know, Resident Evil, whatever, or wh whatever this game is. An on-rails shooter, because that's a good game. I'm going to get an on-rails shooter for a new system. What? It's better when you hack it, you can get any game you want. Yeah. You have three terabyte external hard drive hooked up to there. You pretty much get every game for the Wii and choose whatever one you want to play. I'd rather burn discs though, since I have like 20 DVDs. Speaking of which, I need to get some of those from you, because I need to burn Vista. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy's got a copy of Vista I can borrow. I don't have a copy of Vista. Why would I have? Why would I, why would I want to do, have anything to do with this? Stuff? I don't know if your grandpa had one or something like that. That would be quick and easy to get for me to use. I hate Vista, but I think that's only when my computer's gonna be able to play games. Hmm. What's something else I don't know about? That thing. Phillips, where do you get? No. I wonder what that is. Um. Ask your viewers what that is. See if anybody can tell you what the hell that is. Alright, I'll ask my viewers. Ugh. All this beer sloshes around my gut. Um, alright, viewers. I got this a couple weeks ago. Ugh, I felt good. Um, I got this. When I found that TV, that 21 or 20, 21 inch <coughs> TV, <laughs> um, Samsung, and this was in front of the dumpster. It says flat TV Phillips menu. Okay, volume up down, channel up down. You open this flap. It's got S video in, headphones in, and uh, AV in. About six or seven different AV ends. Yeah, look at this. Show them back. And now for the back. back this it's got PC in, PC out, or what's it called? Yeah, PC in, PC out. What's the VJ? Uh, yeah. Look at all those inputs. I have no idea what this thing is. Uh, I haven't opened it. It might be some type of old school DVR, but I doubt it, because it has nothing to do with TiVo's DVR. Oh, it's a match, match line three or match three line. Pixel Plus. I wonder if the HD converter or some some weird kind of HD converter. Flat TV receiver. That's that's all I know. Um, oh, VHF plus S plus H plus UHF. So maybe it is some type of converter that you hook it up and it takes. I don't know. Might be original uh, HD TV converter for Philips. Made in Belgium apparently. If you guys know anything about it, I'd love to know. I'd like to get, I, I tried to work it, but I couldn't get anything to come on, and it'd be cool to plug it in, and that way I could have all my video games hooked up into this one um, box, well, most of them, anyways, so, that's pretty much all I gotta say, uh, I was drunk and ready. I didn't want to drink all of my 40, save it for a little while, at least the weekend, um, what else can I rant about, crap, um, I can't remember. I don't know. That's all the world needs to know about for now. Mm. Smells kind of good. Does it? It probably tastes better than it smells. At least that's what I always thought. Hmm. Well. Yeah. 
I think I'm done. So, if you want a good bang for your buck, especially with the 8%, give Old English high gravity 800 a shot. Or a chug or a plug. See you next time. Chug.